Game on! No, this is not Wayne's World, but speaking of Wayne's World, Happy Bill and Ted Day. The trailer just dropped today on, obviously, 6 9 So, if you're not down with that, you're totally non-triumphant. But anyway, I'm just going to make a quick video real quick of um, the new Evercade by Blaze Entertainment. It uh, is out of Manchester, UK. And basically what it is, is uh, a company that came up with an idea to make a handheld cartridge-based console based on old style games. Like it's there's Atari collection, Namco collection, Interplay, and they have a various uh, games on each cart. And um, they, they get licensing from these companies to produce them. And uh, there's a total of 10 total right now with three coming. And two of them are the Atari Lynx um, game carts, which I still have my Lynx. I might do a review on it. Anyway, uh, I just want to show this off real quick. I never played it yet, but here are some of the things. Data East is the one I opened because I wanted to show you what it's like. Um, Interplay 2, Atari 2, the Atari Classics, original games, Technos Collection 1, uh, Namco 2, Pico, which is a new homebrew game company, um, and Mega Cat, which is also pretty new. So, actually, Mega Cat's the one that's new, but Pico's not really new. But anyway, uh, here's what it looks like. There's the Data East cart, the case, and what's cool is the book. The book is. It has information on each game, you know, just to show you there. Karate Champ, um, Magical Drop 2, which I have on my Switch. But yeah, it has like info on each little thing, each game, which is really awesome because I love manuals. I hate now that they don't come with manuals. I'm going to leave that out. So I'm going to open this up. I just took the plastic off because I didn't want to fuck with it during the video. So, um, here's the box. So this is pretty cool. And I know I got flack by, uh, GameSack Joe, but that's what he does. He makes fun of shit. And he, for some reason, he didn't change his, uh, USB cord to try anything different, but that's beside the point. So here's the manual. The black... It's easier to check it out. Black Evercade console. Turn it on. See what it looks like. Blaze Entertainment. So that's the startup screen, which is really cool. I wanted the black one because it looks so sleek. And it just looks the black and red just look awesome together. And the white on the back. So and I like the sound, classic video game sound. So that's the startup screen. Inside the box is the three games that came with the bundle, three cartridges, I should say. Another Namco. Then the other Atari collection. And the Interplay collection, another one. So and the USB cord, which is really short, which surprises me. That's the only thing that kind of surprised me how short it was. But I ain't going to play it on the TV. I don't want to hook up more shit to the TV or fuck with it. I'm, this is, for me, the Switch, same way, handheld. Neo Geo X that I have was a piece of crap, handheld mode. Uh, anything that could be hooked up to the TV but a handheld, I always play it on handheld. Because I'm more of a handheld gamer anymore because I'm always listening to music or doing something else. So uh, that was the box. So let's see what it looks like. Classic blow and cartridge. See what it looks like when I turn it on with a game. Which way does it go? Damn, I can't even get the damn thing in there, so. It's pretty tight, holy shit. That's what she said, I know, but yeah. <laughs> so, okay, I'm gonna turn it on. There it is, waiting for it to load. Wow. 
Sounds really good too. The, the sound on it is really good. Crisp sound. There's the screen, different games. Burger Time's great. Let's just try Bad Dudes for a second, see what it looks like, how it plays. Data East. This is not a review, like I said, it's just an overview. Um, I'm not good at reviewing shit. I just wanted to show it off. That's that's my goal, is to show off stuff. So, shit, I accidentally put... I put two games. Damn it. Quick game. I put two players, I mean... So try it again, but um, yeah, I just hit the menu button, and you can save. You can have a save state. Uh, unlike the Turbo Graphics 16 Mini, I have from I haven't played it all yet, but you can't really save into a game, which kind of sucks. That's the only gripe. But see, you have like the save state, save, load, settings, quit, all that. So. We're starting up. It's like I said, the sound's really good. Just real quick, I'll show you. But yeah, I mean, there's hardly, there's no, there's a little bit of like flickering, but. For the most part, it's pretty standard. That's the uh, bad dudes. Let me try one more real quick. Um, something that's uh, simple. Magical drop. Try that one. One more. To show it off one more. But yeah, the only thing that surprised me is how short the cord was and... I kind of, I was surprised how small these are, the boxes, but actually that's a good thing because this less space it takes up, the better. And it's thick enough, unlike a stupid Blu-ray, it was real thin. So. So there's magical drop, you can see it. It's hard to play it when I'm just trying to show the screen because I can't really see what the hell I'm doing, but but yeah, that's magical drop. It plays really well. There's no flicker on this one, so I would highly recommend the Evercade if you like retro gaming. But uh, I just wanted to show it off, so that's a quick video. I'm gonna end it right here. But yeah, so check it out. That's the Evercade. If you love cartridge-based consoles and a retro. Uh, life you know like a retro like i am all my videos are either retro gaming old metal or horror or dead technology so it's perfect for me so i'd recommend looking into it i mean it's pretty cheap you can get like three carts plus the system for like a hundred dollars or like 80 pounds roughly i don't know the exact number but so that's the evercade and uh, i'll put the link of the video that i uh just made with the three handheld consoles at the end of the video right now along with the subscribe so thanks for watching game on happy bill and ted day and rock on